Okay, so our waist measurement is about here. So I would say that's a rectangle one, two, and a half way down. And, um, okay, so this measurement actually should have been here. I'm gonna move that up. Okay, and it's fine with me if you make yourself skinnier. Go for it. So then our hips, and we do not have the side measurements here, so that is a real challenge to kind of guess at that. So hope I'm making it simple enough that anybody could do it. Now our knees are gonna be here. So that now rectangle, one, two, three, four, the end of four. So I'm gonna just underneath it kind of indicate knees. So I do outside line first. Seems a little easier to me. And get a symmetrical one, trying to get the legs the same width. And then down to calves for the rectangle five. And last one of all, getting down to ankles, getting a little thinner. It's a real simple foot. I'm always checking and looking and going, oh, this is a little too big, this is a little small. It's like in writing, you have to revise a lot. So the hardest part is the hands for a lot of people. So um, we have our fingertip point, goes shoulder to fingertip, and our elbow is gonna bend at our waist. So we do have some information to help us. So elbow, I'm gonna bend a little bit so you for sure have that idea. And then I usually just do a very simple hand. And get this other one in. And I'm going to be sneaky and just put this one right behind. Make it a little easier. Um, okay, so what you need to know now is how to do a simple face. So on our egg shape, do a halfway line. Eyes are halfway down. A lot of people think they're higher, but they really are about halfway. And nose, half of that. And mouth half of that. So sometimes I put a little guideline there. The shape in between the nose is the same size, same width of the eye. And I do, I call it a football shape. Most kids are just fine doing that. On the nose, I start with a little round shape here, and the nostrils, and a C and a backward C. Some children like to do an L, and if they really have a hard time, they can do that. Uh, the mouth, I always start in the middle. It's easier to get it symmetrical. So I say that there's two hills. A round spot in the middle. The bottom lip is usually bigger. Okay, so I, I'm gonna take a little bit off of here, a little too wide there. We find that, that line of the cheeks a little bit more. And our ear shape starts at the, no the eye and ends at the nose. I just do just a little bit showing. And then the hairline is about in here. So lay that hair in there. And even the boys will have a fluffiness to it. It's not going to be bald. So you have to get in some fluffiness in there. And take away your skull line. And 
any hairdo that the kids want to put on for themselves. And then it's just going on and making decisions about, about the clothes. and adding extra details like pockets. And hopefully at this point, they're just gonna have a lot of fun putting in all the extra details. So I, I hope this helps you with your work with your students on teaching them figure and have lots of fun.